out today uh, with these Wellingborough Walks lime trees has been absolutely epic. Finally, the barrister that has been working in the background took action upon himself, got up in a tree, and now the chainsaw guys have only chopped down one tree today. That is another win! So let me tell you the story. Good morning, you beautiful lot. Today is Tuesday the 28th of February, the last day of February. And we're going to March. And March has the first day of spring in it, and I love that. Can't wait. It's sheep cheering season two. So, um, it's probably about half past eight. I'm really late. I was up real late last night. But, lucky for me, we have Jamie Brady down here. And he says the barrister has turned up. The one that's been helping Marion turn a horse to accomplish something half decent. I mean, when you think about it, last week they were supposed to get rid of every single one of them trees and they only did 14. I like that fact. So, um, I do have to work today, so more than likely I'll do the same as yesterday and see if there are some people that can kind of infill for us, see if there's any footage. So, big shout out to Jan Jonathan Hornet last night. That, that, that interview done says everything that I would like to say in one of my videos, but because I like to keep impartial and make sure everybody can see the video and enjoy it all equally, I try and leave the politics side of things out, but very good points in there. So, yeah, you can see the busies are already here as well. And there was two trees that got ripped off there. So apparently, the way they ripped them off and then waving them in the air in the wind was big no-no for the health and safety. So, I'm quite interested to see how it goes today. So, hmm. All right, let's go say hello. So I suppose we better have a look at the destruction. Uh, Jamie's just walking around with Sherry Lee. They're cherry pickers over there. If we could uh, coax the swans over there some way. There's not many people out this morning, but yeah, it is still early. I think people are due to get here for about nine o'clock. And what I want to see is where they rip this off. Because that looked awful yesterday. Ah, there's another one. Right, so there's a gas line that comes through here. And North Northamptonshire County Council say that is the reason why these trees have got to go. Now, we're looking at some very old plans here. and some new ones. And it looks like it's very easy to move this gas line and the electric works. And when talking with Caden, who own all of this and have to do all the work, they haven't even got a plan for what they're going to do. They don't know yet, but it's easily movable. So there's no need to get rid of these trees. So I think getting rid of these trees is so then they can develop the land afterwards and not worry about a tree preservation order getting in the way. Once they do it now, they've got the excuse of 3,600 homes being built. Of course, once that's done and that excuse is used, they won't be able to knock down any more trees with a preservation order. So might as well get it all done now. And I think that's what happened up the top there to get rid of all the trees and when they've built the new road if they want to develop that little floodplain then they have the chance to do so they haven't got to worry about tree preservation all this absolute balmy balmy yeah brilliant stuff so this is our barrister that's been helping marion oh his name's paul oh. welcome aboard paul <laughs> yeah in the back yeah one of the the legends in the background epic yeah, yeah. You're an absolute Donny soldier. I heard about you yesterday. I mean, look at that. I know, they were waving it in the air. So, some very interesting conversations going on in the back there. Um, this awesome barrister has actually told the police, you know, we have full right to be on that public footpath because this tree felling is unlawful because of the tea preservation order, which can't really be trumped, whether they use the excuse of 3,600 homes. They still have to prove that, and they haven't. So therefore, we've got more rights today, and I'd like to just sing. Law is on our side. Yeah, it is. So I think I could comfortably go to work 
and come back later and be a little bit more hopeful of these trees still being there. Lord knows how it's going to turn out, but I'm very interested. Just a shame I can't be here for long. Oh, busies! It gave them ground, really, to to say, look, okay, you know, the, the claims of um, the, you know the exemptions clearly, as this barrister's opinion, don't apply. So we could therefore issue a temporary stop notice, but not heard anything this morning I'm still trying to yeah, I don't know, anyway darling I've got to go work thank you for everything on behalf of Wellingborough this is <laughs> it's been an amazing <laughs> journey and I hope that law is on our side today well, I really do just to say it will be, whether it's on our side today or tomorrow it will be on our side ultimately and there will be repercussions <laughs> Amen. I hope I hope to goodness that the repercussions happen and we still have the trees yeah, so do I. I hope I'll come back later and it's still looking pretty much the same. So, until later, I'll see you in a while. Right, okay, I've just managed to run down. Sorry, I'm not wearing me purple. Um, just had a phone call whilst I was at the museum saying our barrister is actually up a tree somewhere. So, I've just asked Mr. Wharton if I could quickly come down. Yeah, he's in there. So, um, Danny Brady has actually sent me an epic video of his conversation with the old Bill. So, I've, I've included that in there. And that man there was just talking to the police, that man in the orange, from the tree fellas. And now the police, he's given them his orders, he's told them what he wants, and now the police are coming down to enforce those. So, are the police going to stop these people dropping down a tree illegally, which has a TPO on it? Or, are they going to threaten these lawful protesters with arrest for aggravated trespass for trying to block an illegal felon? Let's find out, shall we? Can you tell us which exemption you are you are using for TPOs under the TPO regulation for these? These trees have a TPO. Which exemption under the regulations again, so are you using to chop down a tree which has a TPO? Can you explain to us why this activity is lawful? Yeah. Unlawful works. These works are illegal if they do not have an exemption under the TPO regs. Which exemption under the TPO regs are you using to carry out this work? Which exemption under these under the TPO regs are you using to carry out this work? If you do not have an exemption under the TPO regs, this work is illegal and will be subject to a maximum £20,000 fine in the Magistrates' Court or unlimited fine in the Crown Court for anyone carrying out these works. That can be both personally and through the companies. Which exemption of the TPO works are you relying on to carry out these works? I am charged with fighting to be a great and senior officer at this location. I have reasonable grounds to believe you are committing the offence of aggravated trespass Contrary to section 68 of the Criminal Justice that requires and Public Order Act, or you are trespassing on land against the wishes of the occupier, and you are present there with the common purpose of intimidating the occupier and their employees so as to deter them from carrying out their lawful activity, it's not lawful which activity. is working and felling these trees. It's not lawful because I there's TPO, it's criminal offence to fell these trees. to leave this land immediately. If you do not leave this land, as soon as is practical, knowing that our direction has been given to you, you may be arrested for failing to leave the land, contrary to section 69.3 of the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act 
please can you explain why the works they are carrying out is lawful? Because if they are not lawful, then we are not committing aggravated trespass by blocking those works. These trees have a TPO. Therefore, unless an exemption applies, chopping down these trees is not lawful. Have you explained, have they explained to you which exemption they're relying upon to allow them to chop down trees that have a TPO on them? Okay, what I've said, I've just given them one of directions. Yeah, we which are. exemption are they relying on? Because otherwise, you are, you are facilitating people to commit a crime and arresting people who are trying to prevent a crime. Please ask them which exemption oh, under the TPO case. Yeah, stop over talking okay. then. Yep, go ahead. I've just given you the warning. Which the exemption? To you. Okay. So we suspect that aggravated trespass is Which being exemption are they relying on? So therefore, I've asked them direction from you, yeah. so we need you to leave, okay? No, you have to have a reasonable right suspicion that a crime is being committed. The crime is, so we are say, interfering with right lawful activity. Right, folks, what we need to do is we need everybody to just move the other side of the um, Silver the Harris fence. That's okay, that that well, you will not make Just move through that way, please. I'll move this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, are, you are facilitating someone to commit a crime and threatening people with arrest just for trying to stop a crime. Which exemption are they relying upon? Why are you allowed are you facilitating people to commit a crime of felling trees to have a TPO on them? Which exemption are they relying upon under the TPO race? You look ashamed and you should. You know, yeah, go, which exemption? Do you have a stop order signed by a judge from a high court? We don't have to have that. No, we don't have to have that because the key question is. Section 68, aggravated trespass, requires us to be blocking unlawful activity. We are not blocking lawful activity because this activity is not lawful because these trees have a TPO and they do not have an exemption. Which exemption are they relying upon? No, no, this is the Ladies and gentlemen, start moving down past our space in this way, please. There you go. And you can say they are working for the big businesses, they're not working for the people, but we are the people. And obviously this company over here is obviously employing these officers. Do you want to leg up? <sighs> Lovely. Action, yes, uh, proper action, real action. Hello, mate. Hey. Thank you for the uh, message and video, Jamie. Right, Absolute diamond. <laughs> and there he is. Yes. What was an absolute star. Valerie's doing that. We'll find the right email for the other two. Okay, cheers, mate. Wow. Right, I'm going to sneak down the back and get the drone up, see if we can get him. Might yeah. even be better going from that end. So, um, I'll let you know in a minute. Hey, man. I like this guy. I really like this guy. He's also listening to music inspired by Gandhi's um, stand up and take back. So, um, yeah, the guy's a true diamond. We need more people like that. He's not even from Wellingborough, but he is the, uh, the barrister that's been working in the background with Marion, giving over all the law bits that we can use to try and save these trees. So, this guy up here, we owe him many thanks as Wellingborough. So, right, I'm going to go hide and get this drone up.
bet you're quite angry, aren't you, buddy? Really, really angry. Yeah, I feel your pain, mate. How long have you lived in these trees? How long, bud? Too hard to talk about, obviously. Praise the drums. <laughs> you know we are saying. Is give trees a chance. Yes. Yep. Back down for round three. How are we doing, right? What an absolute diamond. They've taken down one tree the whole day. That's it. So. You run your mum to say you're going to be late home. I mean, this, this copper here, he's like four times the size of me. He's like seven foot two, I swear it. He, yeah, I've met him, I've, I've met him before and kind of <laughs> bowed down to the size. <laughs> no, I don't blame you, mate. I don't blame you. But what a diamond. He, he's not even a Wellingborough resident. So, yeah, loads of people here. We've even got the film crews finally here after all day. Hayden, how you doing, buddy? All right? Yeah, good stuff. So yeah, that's our TV back again. How are we ladies? Are we all right? So just speaking with people around, he is, he has been arrested, but he says he won't come down until they de-arrest him. And he's just getting some circulation back in his legs, bless him. He's been up there since about five oh, nine. Yay! <laughs> Still full of humour. Of course, this is the barrister that's actually been helping us. So um, for him to take immediate action like that, Lovely. What Give us a, a wave, Paul! <laughs> Give us a wave! <laughs> he's better now he's got a bit of warmth on him. Bless him. Bless him. And we're all proud of him. So the time now is half past three. I'm going to have to go back to the museum. And... Paul, you absolute legend. Personally, I, I don't want to get arrested because I have two very young children and a wonderful woman who struggled from time to time to deal with them. So for her to be left with the children constantly, I'm not up for risking it. And that breaks my heart a little bit because I'm a Wellingborough born legend. I should be up there with him. But yeah, there's me here with a fear system in his head, so I do apologize. But that is absolutely amazing. And they've only cut down one tree. Now that is a win, again two days in a row. Now, I don't know how it's going to go. They arrested Paul, the barrister, probably at 10 o'clock. And now they're not letting it... Well, once he comes down, they're going to arrest him straight away. So then that means we need our protesters back down here again tomorrow. Doing exactly that. Of course, I can't advise it. I'm just saying what we need. What we need is different to what I want, right? Yeah. That'll do. What's this now? Day eight. Lovely. Love and light, the whole heap of Wellingborough unity.